Okay, so let's say now that you just didn't want to use this picture anymore, you want to use another one. You're going to right click and you're going to click release clipping mask. So therefore, the, that picture is not going to be clipped to this text anymore. So we can um, turn that layer off and I'm going to go ahead and um, bring in another picture that I like to use. And um, now we can go ahead and move that picture above the text and we can um, then again uh, either go over to layers and pick clipping mask or actually hover right over that layer and click on it and um, it's also over here create clipping mask and there we have um, another picture and once again you can go ahead and um, adjust that and um, bring it in, let's just say if you like it like that, and you can even change the wording um, uh, on here, and you do that by pressing the text tool, and then I just like to highlight it, and we can put Grand Canyon. and uh, click the text tool again and obviously that's too big and there you go you can just pretty much um, adjust that and change out the words change out the picture and you just have you know this file ready um, and you can just go in there and change the, even the background color but all the layers are kind of set up for you so sometimes that's easier sometimes it might be just easier if you know the steps just to do it from scratch but I kind of like to have this file and I, I know it's already set up like if I have it for a mug then it's already on my mug template and I just go in here and I just change out the picture change out the words and we're ready to go so lastly um, before we finish up I want to go ahead and just add um, a little bit of clip art you can always make um, your designs a little bit funner with clip art <laughs> um, so we'll go ahead and lock this layer here so I don't have to deal with it moving around while I try to position this and because once again the constraint proportions is checked I can go ahead and resize this with no issues And I'm just going to put it up here in the corner just to see how it looks. And maybe uh, this little cactus here on the other side. We can also add styles to this little clip art. So we're going to go here and we are going to go to layers again and um, layer styles and we're going to add that a little drop shadow there and we're going to move this over so we could see what we're doing <laughs> and maybe um you know put it uh, a little bit of a distance away and opacity i like to bring it up a little bit and we can also um do an inner glow and just have that um add that also to the clip art and push OK and let's say we just wanted to get that same um, effect on this little cactus all we need to do is um, click on uh, our little Sun and that that'll highlight the layer and if you right click here on the layer and then go to copy layer styles you can then add it to this cactus by clicking the cactus or clicking this layer and then right clicking again and clicking paste layer styles and see then it just added the little um, shadow and all the little things that this little sun has 
uh, it, it copied it over to the cactus. And I think that's really handy because um, if you can't remember, you know, what um, distance like the shadow is or whatever, um, or the opacity, it just makes it a lot easier to just be able to um, copy it over. So it just looks um, more cohesive. So hopefully this video was helpful. I, I really would love you guys' feedback. Let me know what other things or questions you might have or other um, videos I could make for you because um, I really want to make this channel about um, community and helping each other and um, answering any questions you guys might have. Thank you.